The question to you is like, how can we make a business case to this world to have a yogi or a yogini oh, yes. <laughs> in every team's case out of it? <laughs> I, I love that. That's such a, that's a huge gauntlet, right? That's a yeah. challenge. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I think there's something to that though. Yeah. Um, what, what do you call it when you have that confidant? Confidence. Right, right. Um, it's so, uh, um, like I said, Julie, Julie Gardner uh, calls on this uh, book uh, yeah. that talks about the trusted advisor. Yeah. But there's like, if you were a, a, a president or a head of state, yeah. you'd have, or yeah, in yeah. ancient times, yeah, right? Yeah. So the the yeah. king yeah. has what some some person the that prime minister or somebody like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, the yeah. vizier. Yeah, yeah. The, vizier, right? the the person that they confide in, because it's it's more than just asking for advice. Yeah. Right. It's being able to express yeah. your frustrations yes. and your concerns and your conflicts, yeah. and not feel like you're going to be judged for them, right. or that they're going to be shared. Yeah. So I think it's safe space. Yeah. So over the past uh, year and a half ish, I've been um, kind of honing this idea informally because it all started with a session that I did, oh, maybe six, seven years ago, the Zen yeah. of software testing, right? And so I think now I, I call it tester therapy. Okay. So to me, when I have training, classes and yeah. you know speak at conferences people will come up to me afterwards and they'll say you know you shared a story that i'm living right now yeah. and they they need to get it off their chest okay. they need to speak the the truth right about what they're dealing with so they can diffuse all of that emotion and get clear yeah. on what's the best choice they can make right now. Not, not what's the right one, because we don't always know what the right one is, yeah. but what's the best one? The one that we can live with, the one that we can access, yeah. the, right? the, the, the one that we know most about. Uh, I mean, we gotta start somewhere, but without getting past that, yeah. getting the yayas out, yeah. right? I don't think you can get to that place yeah. where you can dive in and, and find what feels okay to you. Yeah. Because if you make that choice, if you make that recommendation, it's on you. Yeah. And that's kind of what I think we need to foster. Yeah. And so I don't quite know how it shows up, but are you familiar with the TV show, um, Star Trek, The Next Generation? I've, I've heard of it, yeah. So there's a character. Um, her name is Deanna Troy, uh -huh. and she is the ship's counselor. Oh, okay. And I have self-identified with her oh. role, and she is there for everyone. She is there to hear everyone's concern, but not like a therapist, yeah. but really someone to hear things out and kind of reflect things back and not make decisions for anybody, but just really to listen. Yeah. But mostly, She's there to support the captain. Yeah. And I've provided that role to a, to a certain extent um, in interviewing circles, interviewing teams. Yeah. So I um, got invited yeah. to an interview group to just be the ship's counselor, okay. to just get a feel for the person and the vibe and the fit and, and things like that. So I was just there to talk to the person. You know, what do you think? What do you want? And it's very strange. At that particular company, it was there for almost 10 years, um, the sheer number of people that just showed up in my office to ask, you know, eh, I have this problem. I have this decision. I have this issue with my boss. I have this issue with the project. I issue with overtime. Issue, you know, wh whatever it was, just random people would end up in my office to sh share their challenge. Yeah. What if that were um, not only a role, but something that could be kind of taught, yeah. shared? Yeah. Like, 
You know how we can all learn how to do a peer review? How about be a peer pal? Right? How about, yeah, I'm just here to support you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just here to hear you out. Um, I am not going to give you advice. Yeah. I'm going to help you find your truth, whatever that is, because you have to live with the outcome of whatever that is. Yeah. And so does every executive. And so does every senior manager. Right. And so does everyone doing the job that we've done. Yeah. Everybody needs that airing out of their thoughts in safe space. And so I, I want to take it from Deanna Troy to, right, you know, pal, confidant, vizier. Like I want to, we, we've got to find what that is. So I think in Agile, most people would look to the scrum master or the Agile coach for that kind of thing. But I think that can be too narrow. Right. Agile coaches, you know, help me with my agility and, you know, my proficiency with that. And the scrum master is help me with my scrumminess, yeah. you know, and, and those are, those are leadership yeah. roles, yeah. right? Yeah. So we need to find what the, what the next one is yeah. that can bridge the gap between teams. Yeah. The, I'd say middle management infrastructure that's hanging projects together and responsible for delivery, yeah. but also senior stakeholders, C-level suite, project sponsors, yeah. you know, people who need to influence these groups, but they also need to hear those groups out. Yeah. If they are not open to those messages, yeah. it's so easy to mismanage. That's right with a simple small thing. So we need to make a big impact. How do uh, executive coaching, executive, uh, you know, that's, that's, I've been thinking about executive coaching for some time, nice. but, um, but I think we need, we need to come, come up with something very, very, very special, very unique. Yes. Um, and I think it's possible. I think we're ready. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, I do. Don't, don't you feel like it's, it's kind of coming to yes, yes. a space Absolutely. where we need to stop having the, what we call rerun? Yeah. Yeah. Bell bottoms, peace lights. Yeah. Right. It's time to graduate. Yeah. Not do over. Yeah. It, elevate yeah. this whole thing. And I think it's fair for an organization to take on an advisor. Yes. Right. So uh, I, th I think previously we've had technical advisors, yes. right? Yeah. Um, Scott, I think has a role of performance architect now. Yeah. So architect sounds fancy, but it's on the technical side, right? We need to be on the guru side yeah. um, without calling out expert. Cause it's not about expert. Yeah. It's about assistance, yeah. right? It's a very, and, and that's the tricky piece about leadership. It's not, it's a, Scott critiques me for uh, this, how shall we say, interesting stylistic approach that I have. Yeah. I 100% resist being led. I cannot be led. Okay. You could say please and I'd say, mm, bye. I, I just, I don't, I don't follow yeah. people. That's not my thing. Yeah. I could not be a groupie if I wanted to. That is not my thing. Yeah. I just like, hey, you're amazing. You're wonderful. Bye. You know, like, I, I just, I, that's not my thing. I'm my own thing. However, I also refuse to lead because, because I don't want anybody to look at me yeah. like a guru that, that way. It, it's yeah. just, the, there's some kind of resistance or fear that if I guided somebody and they made a decision that didn't suit them, yeah. then it would be my fault. And so it has taken me, I would say probably the past 12 years of really resisting. Okay. Um, when I, my last job at Rational was evangelist, okay. technology evangelist. Okay. That is a leader. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It, it really is. And I didn't have a clue what to do. I'm like, what am I supposed to bring the software to the people? Yeah. Sing the praises? Oh, you know, like I didn't, didn't really understand very well and was not as effective at influencing because I don't think I really understood um, what the job could have been. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know what they wanted it to be, but I, I didn't get that. And I did a lot of hiding. I, I did it. So from then until now, I've learned that I can lead without having people follow me. Yeah. That's and great. that's the place that's I want to be. 